Welcome back to All The Mods 9, episode 22. This back here is what you have to look forward to later on in the video. This is the starts of the advanced mechanism stuff with the fission reactor and with the turbine generator. This took me a long time to figure out, but once I have it all down, I'll go ahead and go through it and explain how it works. So, see you then, I guess. All right, so mechanism reactor. Let's go ahead and look at this. There's gonna be quite a bit that I'm gonna need and I know I'm gonna probably have to set up more auto crafting. So let's go ahead and look through here. Okay, antimatter pellet. Yeah, so we're not even gonna be at this part. I believe we start over here. I think this is where we need to start because we need to make some kind of chemical with this system. So let's go ahead and look into this. Ah, yeah, we see here, we're gonna need to make these thingies. And then we have to get to thistle fuel right here. Uh, so we're going to need to build this system here. And then we're going to need to work on uh, uranium hexafluoride. Then we move to hexafluoric acid, uranium oxide. We get uranium and sulfuric acid. And then we mix it into thistle fuel, I believe is the way that that works. God, these quests are so awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a tur uh turbine casings what do we need for these steel and osmium well good thing we made a bunch of steel so let's just make a bunch of these and hopefully yep the steel's coming through again so let's just make oh is it coming through oh well it has to go through the system multiple times it's scheduled though so that's good okay so we have turbine casings now we need to make some ports ah oh, so we're gonna need all of these for that and we're also gonna need an electromagnetic coil let's also pin these and we will pin the structural glass and let's pin all of these items as well okay so all these are pinned now uh, what i was doing there is if you click on the quest and you see blocks here you can press a on them and it'll add it to the side here so that's what i just did so we need one of these let me go back into my system. So we're going to need one electromagnetic coil to start. And this is, oh, it's bugging because it's filling with power. This is for the turbine. Turbine valves. Let me check these quests again. I want to see how many I need. So I need two turbine valves, 24 vents, and eight condensers. I needed one of these. Okay, so two valves. Was it 24 vents? Yeah, 24 vents. Uh, we're gonna need some iron bars. Let's just make a ton of these, I guess. The vents. Oh, hell. Oh, we're gonna need these stored in here. Let's just chuck them in. We need 24 of these and eight condensers. Okay. We have eight condensers. And we have the turbine valves, but we need to, oh, it's telling me to build the, con the, the fission reactor first. Uncompleted dependencies. Okay. Ah, it's talking about this thing. And then we get the reactor fail safe. Is this where I'm, do I need to start down here? I suppose I do. Oh, duh, it's because I need to build this first. I'm silly. Yeah, because I need to build the fission reactor first, and then I can build the uh, the turbine. So I need to build the fission reactor first. So that's what this is saying. So logic adapter, and we need observers. So I need fission reactor casings, which need steel casings. Okay. Let's make a bunch of those, and we'll make some of these. Now we need... I believe it was one of those to react. So we have the fission reactor logic adapter and I need two for this system. I think this is just the be safe system. This is the one <laughs> so you don't blow shit up. Okay. Let's grab an observer as well. Now we need gravel. Okay. Let's grab a gravel and a redstone just right here. What the hell's happening to my system? Is it out of power? How did you get drained out of power? What in the world? 
Did I mess something up over here? No, you are still good with power. You're still good with power. Our network is absolutely chilling. What happened? We still have tons of power. This thing's still cooking with gas. This thing's not even running. That's total. Oh, it's running now. Yeah, we have a ton of power. I don't know what happened there. Um, okay. Maybe the cables aren't good enough. I don't know. Anyway, we have the power. We have the power. And now we need gravel or sand and a piston. What in the hell is going on? Why are you continuously running out of power? Needs 9,700 and you're not getting 9,700? Wait a minute. What is draining you so bad? Do I need to put an ender gate on here? Or not an ender gate, a... What is it called? It is called... Where is it? Right here. Flux points. Do I need to make a flux point? I will. Just break this and we'll put that there. You screw off. Okay. Transfer the limits. Just do 25k. All right. There we go. Now you should stay full consistently. I don't know why you're being such a punk, you cables. It's probably because they're connected to all the machines over here and they're only advanced cables, so they're probably struggling. Which makes sense to me. Let's place that there. And are you guys doing the, the thing right now? No, you're not. Okay. Well, yep. Look at that brine coming through. Damn. But now we should be straight. We should be good here. So we have these items. What else did I need for this quest? A piston. He did what in his cup? Grab a piston. Now we completed this quest. But we need to go through this whole path to get to this path? That's silly. How do I unlock this uh, area down here? Oh, is that in a regular mechanism? Uh, but I do need to get to this item though. The chemical dissolution chamber. Okay, so if we need fissile fuel, let's look through fissile fuel right here and see how it's made. Fissile fuel is made in an isotropic centrifuge and it needs uranium hexafluoride. So what do we get hexafluoride from? We get it from a chemical infuser, which needs uranium and hydrofluoric. So uranium, chemical oxidizer. Okay, and for that we need yellow cake uranium. uranium. All right, let's go back to the chemical infuser. Well, first we'll go here. And we'll see this, and it can make fissile fuel, uranium hexafluoride. Now we need hydrochloric acid, or hydrofluoric acid, which comes from fluorites, which also comes from a chemical dissolution chamber. And we need sulfuric acid. Okay, sulfuric acid comes from a chemical infuser. And water vapor. And sulfur trioxide. How do you get water vapor? Ah, uh, just a rotary condensator with water okay so now let's go to here and sulfur trioxide another chemical infuser we need oxygen and we need sulfur dioxide which we need a chemical oxidizer for which we already had there and how do we get sulfur dust is there a better way to do this than messing with greggy tech energized smelter sulfur ore okay so we need sulfur ore or we do hydrogen chloride with gunpowder. Or we take coal, make oxygen and water. So there's multiple options here. Chemical infuser, energized smelter, pressurized reaction chamber. So the way that we might want to do this then is with coal or charcoal. We can do any of those to get sulfur. So the chemical one is... Do we need the block of coal if we use biofuel? Okay, we do. I think we do need an item here as well as the chemicals, maybe. Hmm. 
think about how we want to do this. Because we just need the chemical that comes from this. No, we need sulf sulfur dioxide. We need sulfur dioxide in some way. So this is the way then with the chemical oxidizer. So we need a way to get sulfur dust that is repeatable, um, which we might end up just doing with coal then. But we could also do gunpowder. Uh, we're getting, we are getting gunpowder. There's our gunpowder right here. Let's see if there's a better way to get gunpowder as well. We can do witches hats. We can do coal with generalized overworld prediction. So this would be a really good generation of gunpowder because we have a ton of coal and uh, predictions. We have a ton of ways to get gunpowder. So maybe we use this. This might be the recipe that we want. So let's go up to here and we'll just make a pattern for this and we will throw it in the grid so it can know how to craft that. Let's think about this. Mr. Cluckington, what do you think we should do? Because I am actually confused. This is, a, this is a new part of mechanism that I've never messed with, so this is going to be really fun to figure out the best way to do things. How many predictions do we have? 10k. So that's 160,000 gunpowder. And we have plenty of coal. We almost have a million coal, so we're good there. We need to get some more generalized ender predictions. So where are those in our system? They should be in here. Am I missing them? Right here. So press U on these, or R rather. Okay, so we can make them from nether predictions and end stone, or we just do the enderman, piglet. Okay, so we can do the wither. So we can have the wither still going and we'll get these ender predictions, okay. So let's turn uh, this back on. Items. We'll go ahead and fill this up and we'll have these continue to go. This is the wither skeleton, wither skeleton, wither, wither, and the guardian, and a guardian. Okay. So the wither is going. How many do we have going? Maybe we just put another wither one in here. So let's grab the wither prediction from in here, or the data model. Let's grab the one that's not almost done, so we can just pump those numbers up on this. There we go. We'll throw the guardian one away. We're still getting plenty from just one guardian module. Yeah, but this, still, this is still working over here. We're still getting those uh, wither skull parts, and we're storing those. Oh, did we upgrade every single one of these over here? I think we did, right? Yeah, we did, okay. So we're going to get plenty of those pieces and they'll be stored just fine. All right. Which is hats. We have no, no glowstone being stored. Before we continue with that, let's look into another way to get glowstone dust. Besides which is hats. Maybe there's a way we need a witch prediction. And what's that? A right wraith. It's a wraith. Is there another way? Just no, just smelting glowstone. Maybe for um, thermal series? No. Maybe we do bees or we do seeds. Okay, well, it looks like we might want to get a with a witch prediction. Let's make some data models and get this witch, I guess. I would like to get a witch. Let's grab some in stone. We'll just block this off. We'll just block that off for now and hope they're not stupid and jump over it. They might, but that's okay. I just want to get in there and grab a witch to uh, do a data model on. Okay, oh, you stupid idiot. Oh, now I need to put these in the deep learner, duh. Oh no. I'm taking damage. Oh, you dummy. How many more witches? I need three more. Oh, you stupid idiot. That is one more. There we go. Okay. Whoops. 
Let me away from that. The things will mess me up too. Okay. So we have the witch's data model. I wanted the glowstone um, dust for other reasons <laughs> that aren't necessarily related to what we're doing right now, but I still wanted them. So we have four of these. Let's go ahead and replace one of the wither skeleton ones. I would like to get some glowstone coming in. We'll just replace both of these right now, actually. Now we don't really need the skull fragments at the moment. We do need the nether stars though, so we'll keep those going. We'll keep the guardian going too. How much prismarine are we up to? 34k. We need more shards. That is what we need. We have a ton of crystals. How many uh, guardian... What are they called? Guardian spikes? Yeah, we'll probably just turn it into those instead. So the next time one comes in, we'll just change it to the spikes instead. Like that. We'll just get spikes because you can turn spikes into both. Uh, the prismarine shards and crystals. So we'll just do that instead. Okay, okay. What is next? So we've resolved that. We're going to get glowstone, which is good. I don't know why that door is open. Let's go to bed, and then we will start messing with other things. Oh, we got some quest rewards. Look at that. We got some stuff. Put it all away. Okay, so gunpowder. So we need to get into this, and this makes the fizzle fuel. So let's work. I guess we work backwards here on the system. So let's go ahead and do that. I think working backwards through it might be the better idea. So let's grab the isotropic centrifuge. Now let's go into this and we will go into the uranium hexafluoride. Now we need a chemical infuser. Okay. Let's just search fissile fuel and we'll pin this so we can click on this instead. So we'll go uranium hexafluoride. Now we need uranium oxide and we'll need a chemical oxidizer. Chemical oxidizer, click into this again, go here. We have the uranium oxide, which needed the chemical oxidizer, which needs the yellow caked uranium, which needs uranium ingots. Okay, let's add that to the list. We're gonna need an enrichment chamber. Let's grab one of these and let's just upgrade it because. Okay, so uranium into the enriching chamber, we need to go over here. So we get the enriching chamber. Now we need to go to the other side. So we know how to get the uranium oxide. Now we need hydrofluoric acid, which do we need both of these from the chemical dissolution chamber? But regardless, we're gonna need a chemical dissolution chamber. So let's go ahead and make one. Do we need fluorite for this? I sure hope not. How do we get sulfuric acid? So we're gonna need another chemical infuser. This is gonna be a process. Oh boy, I can already feel it. Another chemical infuser. We already have the chemical dissolution chamber, which we needed this for. We get water vapor, which we need a rotary condensate, condensentrator, condensentrator. Is that, is that how you say that? And then we already have the mechanism thing for that. It's just sitting in here. There we go. Condensentrator, which we already have a dissolution. Condensentrator. All right, let's go back through again. We already have the sulfuric acid. We already have the water vapor taken care of. Now we need sulfur trioxide, which needs sulfur dioxide. We're going to need oxygen, which we can get from an electrolytic separator from water. So let's make an electrolytic separator. And electrolytic separator. She needs this. Okay, thank you, sir. Sulfur trioxide. Now we need sulfur dioxide, which comes from the sulfur dust from the chemical oxidizer. Chemical oxidizer. Where are you? Right here. That is a lot of machines. <laughs> that is a lot of machines. Um, is that the last step to get into this? Trioxide, dioxide. Yes, it is. And now we just need to set up a way to get uh, sulfur dust. Which we were going to do with this, which needs water and oxygen. 
which is totally doable. Can you do blocks of gunpowder? No. But you can do gunpowder, right? Or can you not? Oh, sorry. It needs to be crafted, I think, right? I thought there was a way. Yeah. So, oh no, sorry. Gunpowder turns sulfur dust can turn into gunpowder. Ah, and then you put it through the chemical injection chamber to turn it into sulfur dust. So we need to make a chemical injection chamber, which needs a purification chamber and an enrichment chamber. Then we need to go into the chemical injection chamber into here. And I need to see, uh, where is it at? So this, grab the sulfur dust, go to the gunpowder, chemical injection chamber. Now we need hydrogen chloride which we get from hydrogen and chlorine from the chemical infuser. So we need another chemical infuser, which I believe, are we using the chlorine that's down here or are we dumping it? No, we're using the chlorine. So the chlorine's already being used by the electrolytic separator, which does need brine. So it's a good thing that we're storing brine. Okay. So the gunpowder, let's put sulfur dust up here too. And this needs hydrogen chloride, which can be gotten from hydrogen and chlorine. So we're going to need chlorine, which looks like, yep, electrolytic separator. So we're going to need another one of these and we need to make this again. And let's go ahead and just do this. Electrolytic separator. Goodness, look at all these things, dude. Holy crap. There's so much. Man, where are we going to set this up? We probably need to set it up away from this. Uh, just so it doesn't blow up in our face. So let's go to the claim manager and let's just claim all of this. We'll just claim that too. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's work over here. Oh, goodness gracious. This is going to be a pain in the ass. It's time for some terraforming, I suppose. Small tunnel. What level are we at here? 72. That's fine. Need my wand. Where's my wand? Come here. Uh, we'll turn on the magnet now. We'll just fill that in. Just want to have some space to work with here. That sounded awful. <laughs> okay. So we have some space over here. Probably want to fill this in. All right, well, let's go to sleep. I need to put some uh, mega torches over there too so mobs don't spawn. Let's make some mega torches and we'll just place them down. So that one's over there. I'm just gonna place one right here. One over here, over here. And not over there, because I need... Oh, well, will they spawn while I have one here? Will they still spawn? Because they're in mob spawners? Or will they not? They will. Okay. All right. Cool. So that should keep the mobs away. Now, we get into the fun stuff. I'm going to need another flux point for this. And we'll probably have a power cube over here which we want to upgrade into this which needs more of these and we'll upgrade this into that and then we'll upgrade it into this and then we'll upgrade it into the ultimate cube we can't do the creative so we'll have the ultimate cube over here and this will store some power for us uh, the flux points so we need to work on this machine setup and we're gonna go we're going to go ahead and see if we can get this done in a proper way. Let's go ahead and get our concrete out. I'm just going to chuck this out like so. Grab a stack of this and we'll chuck this stuff in here as well. I don't need this stuff right now. So we'll clear out some inventory space. Place this here. And we will build something that we can start working with. I don't know how much this is going to need. So let's just do that and we'll fill it in like so. We'll just do an entire chunk. Oh, that's one too many. 
We'll do an entire chunk. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Do an entire chunk over here for this and see how I need to set this up. So we'll also want, we're going to probably want to make more white concrete. And I guess we'll go one more back. So we'll do the setup there. And we'll do the rest over here. Like that. And we'll just do two lines here for this. We'll do the reactors over here, maybe. And we'll probably have to expand even further. Yeah, for now, we can just do this. And I'll probably want to make these chunk loaded. Wait, am I missing part of the chunk here? Ah, I am with three blocks. So I can go even further with this. Okay. And we will do that. Oh, whoops. Nope, just this. There we go. Okay, now we have a whole chunk to work with. Okay, so machines and whatnot. Um, hmm, so this is probably going to need to be like on the end, on the edge. So where are we at here? Let's drop this right here within the chunk so we can have room around it to work with. So we'll drop this here. And this needs fissile fuel. So let's go back through this process, which needs uranium hexafluoride, which is going to come from a chemical infuser. So we need to have a chemical infuser next. And I'm just going to put this here just in case I plan on extracting the liquid before putting it into the system. Okay. Now, after that system comes uranium oxide and hydro hydrochloric acid. So we need a dissolution chamber. And we're going to need a chemical oxidizer, okay? Which the chemical oxidizer is going to mess with items. So we probably want to do these offset. This one's going to mess with an item. So we'll place this here. Why did it place like that? It looks weird. Okay, so it'll come into the side there and out. And then we need the dissolution chamber. Put that there. We'll do the items on this one here. Let's see, let's go through this thing. This is messing with sulfuric acid, which is gonna need to mess with a chemical infuser. Okay, so chemical infuser. And like this one here. So then we're gonna need water vapor, which is gonna come from a rotary condensator. So we probably want the rotary condensator right here, going into there. All right, maybe we offset these machines by like in the middle of these. Mess with that later, just, but I wanna have them placed down so I kind of understand how the flow is gonna work here. Cause this one's gonna go into this. So let's go through here again. Hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid. So that's what the water vapor is going to be for. Now we need sulfuric trioxide, which is going to need a chemical infuser. Okay. And then needs oxygen and sulfur dioxide. So chemical infuser right there. And then I think the other thing is also messing with items. So we go through here, get the sulfur trioxide. Sulfur dioxide is going to be, yep, the chemical oxidizer. Okay, chemical oxidizer, which messes with sulfur dust. And we'll drop this like so. Because it's going to be putting items into that. There we go. Okay, yeah, because this machine's going to get, needs the items from here. So that, then we have this one here that goes into there. And then we have this one that goes into there. Okay, so let's go through here again all the way down to the trioxide, which needs the oxygen and the sulfur dioxide. We already have the sulfur dioxide covered. Now we need oxygen, which we can get from an electrolytic separator messing with water. Okay. Electrolytic separator messing with water. All right. Now we already have the hydrochloric. We need the uranium now. This is going to be messing with yellow cake uranium, which comes from uranium ingots. Is there a way to get uranium ingots very easily? Or a way to do some conversions? Does not look like that is so. We're going to need to 
probably make uranium seeds unless there's a way to get uranium very fairly easily but unfortunately it doesn't look like that is the case and we would be dependent i mean we can be solely dependent on our system over there doing it but i don't feel like that's a good idea but this is how things are currently looking this is going to need an item this is going to also need an item what needed chlorine what did i miss i know i missed chlorine somewhere i know i needed chlorine for something right making the sulfur so for making the sulfur dust here we needed a chemical injection chamber that needed hydrogen chloride so chemical injection chamber can go here because this is is it which one is it i think it's this one let's go through the path again i need to see where i need that so sulfuric acid sulfuric trioxide sulfur dioxide so the chemical oxidizer right here because this is going to be making dioxide or sorry this is going to be making dioxide and then this is going to make trioxide and the trioxide is going to go into there right yep because this is going to make water vapor and the trioxide from dioxide and oxygen is going to come from here sulfur dioxide yep so this is where we need to have the sulfur being made which needs a chemical injection chamber you need water this is going to need to take in water we can put this here chemical injection chamber hydrogen chloride is going to need hydrogen and chlorine chlorine comes from an electrolytic separator for brine so electrolytic separator here and then we can output brine into this from our system okay that is every machine except for the enriching factory placed down so the enriching factory where do you come into play sulfur dioxide sulfur and i believe this is related to the gunpowder right am i or am i wrong yes oh oh this is the opposite gunpowder what did i need the enriching factory for then i must be missing something here maybe it's on the oxide ah yes here we go it's the with the uranium ingots which the yellow cake is needed with uranium oxide um let's go back through so uranium hexafluoride and then uranium oxide is from the chemical oxidizer so chemical oxidizer and then we have the enrichment chamber here this will provide the stuff needed in here chemical oxidizer then this makes uranium hexafluoride which is then in a chemical infuser which takes the uranium oxide okay so this is going to take the uranium ingots and turn them into the other thing all right i think that's every machine placed down in the order that we need to place them down in so let's go ahead and do this and this and this and we will just place in the concrete as we need it i don't think i want to do do i want to do plugs on each of these we can we can do plugs on each of them but i think ultimately it might be better to just use this ultra energy energy cube that we have um, because we're going to use it for the reactor anyway over here so what we can do instead is place this place it here and then we will put a not a flux point we need to do a plug we need to do a plug on here so it can pull power and we'll put the plug on top and we'll put this on the wireless power network and yep, that is about it that is all we need to do right now for that now we need to get some wires done for mechanism we're going to use all mechanism for this so we're going to need to make all of the best wires that we can okay so now let's go down here place this we're gonna need energy on this we're going to need energy on this 
All right, and then we just need this one. There we go. Now we can fill in the rest. All right, we're good to go there. And let's just do this. Okay, we have every machine down. Every machine has power on them. That's good. Every machine should have power. Let's double, triple, quadruple check everything. Okay. All of these machines have power now. So we can move on to the next step, which is getting things up and running. So we're going to need a sink. We definitely need a sink. Make a water bucket like this. We'll get a sink going. Now we need some more mechanism pipes. Uh, we're going to need some mechanical pipes. So let's go ahead and make some of these. Now we're going to need the pressurized tubes, I believe. Okay, we have pressurized tubes. We have the mechanical pipes. And now we need the mechanism. Is it item? Basic logistical transporters. We're going to need these as well. So we have every level of pipe. We're going to need our configurator definitely too. So this electrolytic separator is going to take in... This, one, this one's going to take in water, right? Or no, this one. Uh, I believe this is the one, right? Well, we're going to need water for two machines. So let's just place this here. I believe you're taking in water because you're going to output to the chemical injection chamber for... Hydrogen chloride, sorry. Hydrogen chloride, which needs hydrogen and chlorine. Chlorine we get from a rotary condensator. Am I missing a condensator over here? Or is it this one? Did I mess my stuff up here? No, it's just too much to track. So let's just work. Let's work this way. Let's work this way. It's going to be much easier that way. Okay, so we're going to need hexafluoride, which is going to come from this chemical infuser here. So let's do... The pressurized tube right here and this should automatically it's not gonna automatically output it wants to output out of the back so you are going to auto eject your gas output there you're gonna take input one and then you're gonna take that from there this do I need to turn this around like this. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And you're going to take items, right? I hope you take items. This. And then uranium oxide is going to come from the mechanical oxidizer, which is going to get yellow cake. Uranium, which needs the uranium bar that we have, or the uranium that we have. Uh, okay. So this is going to take uranium. Um, actually, what we could do instead is set up a drawer with that in there, probably on top of here. And we'll tell our system to store the yellow cake uranium. So up into here, let's grab this and we'll make this a pattern. And we'll throw it into the energized enriching factory here so enriching factory now you know how to make that we're gonna tell this bad boy over here to store 64 of that so now it's working there we go so now we have that we're just gonna take oh it made extra so let's take a stack of this we can't eat this it's uneatable cake and we will tell it to be stored in here and we'll go ahead and just lock this. So it'll store, oh, it can store up to 2K. That's totally fine. And this, hopefully, this machine here, actually, can we tell it to take it from the top? I'd probably prefer to have it on the top so it's more visible. So we'll do that. And we'll have the exporter on top of this. Maybe, we'll just do that. We'll just leave that there. For the yellow cake, let's grab another drawer and let's go let's work backwards again so we already have that stuff set up for that now we need so we already have the uranium oxide good now we need the hydrochloric or hydrofluoric 
Which means, do we need flor fluorite? We can get fluorite essence. If if we need this, then we're definitely just going to make seeds for it. I am not going to worry about that in any way. I don't want to make bees for that. I'm already outside of my element here. So I'll definitely make seeds for these if we need fluorite. I believe we will. So I have to remember that. So we'll go here. Hydrofluoric. So then we need... Then that goes into this. Which is also going to need to take items. And it's going to need that hydrofluoric. So we'll lock this. And... Do I have fluorite right now? No, I don't. I don't even have any of the or for it do i let's make the oh fluorite what the hell how did i get this how do you get this so we need this okay this can also get hydrofluoric acid but how do you get this you need to do the greg tech process uh-uh, ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm doing that. I will not. If this is the only way to get it. Do I not have fluorite? How do you get this? You can make fluorite essence. So I'm definitely going to make this. The prosperity seeds. I'm going to take this. And we're going to just go ahead and place these seeds somewhere. I'm not going to deal with that Greg Tech process. This time I will not. And turn off chunk borders. This is one of the, these options. I know I'm going to have to mess with Greg Tech at some point, but I'd rather leave this as mechanism as I can. And I don't even see a way to get fluorite except for messing with Greg Tech. So this is, this is okay with me. I really don't want to make things worse. So we're going to place that there. Let's go ahead and get it growing as fast as we can. Oh, we're missing a whole row here. So let's go ahead and make... Uh, Two rows. We're going to need to make some more of these as well. Do I have enough Supremium for this? I do. Very nice. Okay. So let's grab the wand. And just do that. And that. Since it wanted to be difficult. That and that. And bing and bong. Okay. So those are all done. All of those there. Alright. So that means the fluoride is going to be growing. It's going to turn into fluoride essence. Okay, what else can fluoride essence be used for? Um, let's see, just for crafting fluorites. Okay, so let's just go into this recipe down here. Into this one. We'll do this, and we will say this, and we'll do that. Apply, there we go. Now we just need to tell this thing to output the fluorite essence. Just go ahead and do this, man. We'll just put a stack upgrade on there. So it just outputs everything. All right, now we'll have fluorite being generated, which is really good. We can also, can we smelt this and it not? Okay, yeah, we can just smelt the raw fluorite. Okay. Well, we're going to need fluorite. So is there a better way to smelt this? Can I get more out of this? than just melting no okay well we'll just chuck that on there on in there and we'll have some stuff coming in like that there we go we'll take a stack of this that's gonna really fill up our system we're gonna probably need to put that somewhere how far is this from range wise it is indeed out of range that is unfortunate uh we could do netherite upgrades and maybe it could reach Maybe. But this needs to go into here. So you need to take input from that. Okay. Alright, fluorite's there. This is there. Okay. Do another exporter. We have none. Interesting. Because we don't have any construction cores. We don't have any of these. So let's just make some glowstone then. We'll make some exporters. Do an exporter on top of there. You are going to take that when you're connected, and you are going to take that when you are connected. 
you're just going to fill that box up up to how much is it 2000 still yep 2000 okay all right next steps and this is a long process hey so we did this part now we need sulfuric acid and that's going to be in the chemical infuser which means we need water vapor which is going to come from the rotary condensator which needs to take in water so you oops you need to take water so we can just do these pipes right do you take water out of the front will you output out of there pressurized is for gases okay so i was right okay but you are wrong so you need to become a mechanical pipe you're gonna come from here and then you are going to take water decons yeah decondent decondensing all right you're going to output and then you on the front for gases are going to take input is that the right side does it matter in does it need to be on the well the way we have it set up it does need to be there so we need to take our dropper so this item here we can take chemicals out we're going to tell this to for gases we're going to take input two. so let's take the dropper and we can take the fluids out of there what the hell is this not enough energy oh it's because of the way the energy cube is working i'm supposing because you are connected you're definitely connected but are you yeah you're just told to not output so okay so you're gonna output and you should hopefully go into this when you're done input to chemical infuser all right anyway let's uh not get distracted by that so now we need sulfur so we have water vapor coming in now we need sulfur trioxide which needs oxygen and sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide is going to come from this so we need a drawer another drawer on this and then we're going to use a logistical transporter and i suppose we'll do this and we will tell this thing because it's going to output an item and we'll tell this to take output output on the top that's items behavior whoops but gases yeah you're supposed to take it on two i don't know that could be incorrect that could be correct i don't know but this is going to fill up with vapor it's using 20 fe that's totally fine so you need the hydrochloric blah 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 and all right this one here hydrofluoric is going to come from the dissolution chamber all right which takes sulfuric which we are going to make here then we need self sulfur trioxide which that's going to get oxygen and then we're going to need sulfur dioxide which comes from the sulfur dust which comes from a chemical injection chamber having gunpowder put into it chemical injection chamber so we're going to need so we're not going to need a drawer on this we're going to need logistical transporter right here and this is going to output items onto the right and it's going to need the stuff on there and this is going to need the drawer right here and we'll do that now we need gunpowder we'll take a stack of gunpowder and we'll chuck it in there and we will lock this this is going to take input so it's going to take from there hopefully hopefully it'll just take directly from that and i don't need to do any piping for it and it needs the the chemical thing the chemical thing that's the technical term by the way we could totally skip this part but we've already made one pair of seeds so i'm not gonna we need a pressurized reaction chamber oh this is not what we're going to use we're going to use the energized uh, or the chemical injection chamber so gunpowder and hydrogen chloride which needs hydrogen and chlorine which we need a rotary condenser for so we do need one more rotary condenser and that's going to be in the way of this sink so let's go ahead and move this and we'll just put it right here 
sync go. And we will do this. Uh oh, wrong pipes. It needs the mechanical pipes. Like that. And then we need to take the configurator. Bing. This is also going to need water. Bing. And this is going to need chlorine. Which needs brine. You have hydrogen. All right, so we need to put an exporter on this here because this needs to take in brine. So we're going to tell this to take a fluid and we're going to need to get a brine bucket. Let's see, do I have one? I do. So we'll take the brine bucket. We're going to tell this to export brine. All right, that'll go into there. And then we're going to tell this to take fluids input from the top. This is going to get two gases. And then we need to pump one of them into there. We're going to need a pressurized tube right here. And then we need to output whatever we're making into the chemical injection chamber. Does it turn it into a liquid? Is that a liquid or is it a gas? Outputting gas. And this takes hydrogen chloride. And it's outputting a gas. Yeah, so it takes in gas and it outputs gas. So let's turn this, I guess. I think this might be the issue. So let's turn this. And then put the pressurized tube here. There we go. So you're going to gases. You're going to output. You're going to take input two, I believe. I'm going to go check over here again. So this is going to output chlorine, which output two. So we're gonna need, yep, output two into here. And then we're gonna need to take in hydrogen. So output two, which means I need to move this over to here. This isn't gonna like that either. I'm gonna have to turn this all the way around. It will not like that. So we're gonna just place this machine backwards completely like that so out of the front gas you will take output and then you're going to take input two and then you're going to take input one on the right okay so then we need to place our electrolytic separator right here so let's remove that we'll do this we'll do that and this that's our last energy cable um, let's do this. So this is how this will work from here. These all have energy. You're going to take output and now you need a pressurized tube here. And so you are going to do output one or for gases, output one. Um, I believe that is incorrect. You have gone and ruined me. We'll take that out, drop that. So that has hydrogen now, it's taking hydrogen. And then this should gases output two, right? Output two, uh, yep, output two, because it needs chlorine. So it's gonna take the chlorine. So I believe we placed this forward, whichever way the pipe's on. So yeah, output two or sorry, for gases, output two, and then none here, and fluids input. Gases, auto-ejecting on. So this is this should work. This is gonna fill up. And then this will output into here. And we need to tell this to take gas input. All right, it will. And then for items, it's gonna take input. And then it needs to items output to this, all right. We, it's going to work. It should work. So this one is, I believe I need this one for water as well. Let me go back through this. 
so I can make sure. So we are here right now. That's what the machine in, to my right is. That's that. That's what that machine is. That's what that one will do. So this one is what we are at right now. So this one does need to take water, um, which means we're going to need more mechanical pipes. Or we can just remove this one, and we can use this one. Actually, no. Let's not. I'd like to have them be separated. I think it's a much smarter idea to have them be completely separated. You got to keep them separated. Hey. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's keep them completely separate. So you are going to need oxygen, which means gas output one fluids input anywhere. Sure. Okay. And which means you need to be dropping, dumping excess on here, and we'll leave it idle for hydrogen. So it's just going to take hydrogen. And then you are going to be dumping hydrogen, and you'll keep oxygen. All right. We're going to need more mechanical pipes. So let's make some more. All right. We'll go over here. Can I take water from this? No, it can't eject it. Okay. Well, I want to keep this nice and clean, so I'm just going to go... Actually, you know what? We might as well just put another sink here, hey? Yeah, keep it keep it ultra clean. So let's just make another sink close by, I think, so it's easier to manage and easier to understand the system later on when I come back. So we'll do that. This is going to work. Then it's going to pump out into here. Wrong thing, because that's for fluids. We need this one. So this is going to pump out hydrogen. Wrong. You should be pumping out oxygen. So come here, dropper. There we go. I goofed it up. Yep, you're dropping the hydrogen and you are pushing the oxygen. Good. Okay, this is pushing oxygen. This is going to need to push. That's pushing into there. Oh, that should work. Perfect. Then this is going to need to push into here. Is it a fluid? No, right? Do I need to turn this machine? So you're taking energy, you're, the front is inputting gas outputs. There we go. It was just not configured to output. Okay, so this should all be hooked up once I hook up the system for it. You stay down there, you silly little bug. I'm going to go to sleep, and we will come back over here. Oh, man, what a freaking process. It's very interesting, though. Oh, we need to make a network receiver and a network transmitter. Okay, let's go ahead and place down the transmitter. Right there. What are you doing? Get off of that before you do something weird. Let's put the receiver over yonder. Now, where do I want to put this? Because it's going to be important. If we can place it above, or we can place it below. Or we can just place it on top of this uh, flux plug here. Do that. And let's hook some cables up. So we'll hook that one up. And we'll hook this one up. And then these. I'm really glad I spaced these out instead of putting them right on top of each other. It's going to be much easier to understand later on when I mess with it even more. Okay, so those are connected. This is linked to that. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Let's do that. There we go. You are pushing brine. You are not taking brine. You should take brine. Why are you not taking brine? Oh, do I need to use pipes? Damn it, that's going to look ugly. Dang it. Oh, no. Oh, no. But disconnect that. If I replace this, is it going to do the same thing again? No, it won't. Okay, good. So this... Oh, is this working now? No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do, man. Get rid of that freaking water. Take the brine. 
Get out. There we go. And get out. Now you're making sodium and you'll dump, dump that and you want the sodium. So now you have chlorine. Why is... Oh, man. D get... Get out. I Do I need to just break it? There we go. Chlorine, and it's making hydrogen chloride, and this is going to go into there. And you're not going to output properly, are you? That freaking blows. Okay, well, guess it's time to, uh, can I do pipes on each of these without interrupting anything? I guess I can. Okay, well, I guess it's logistical pipe time. Do that, and we'll just tell it to take input on the left. So there you go. Start working. We're going to have to do the same with this one here. I guess. We'll do it on the back. And we will tell this to take item input from the back. Okay. For you, we'll just hopefully do it on the side here and hopefully you'll just take it. Oh, you did work. Nice. Okay, so this is pumping out. And it's going into here. Is it going into there? It's going into the pipe. The uranium oxide is. And you need to take an input. Input to. There you go. Yep, yeah, take that. Okay. And then... Input one on the left, and you'll output there. Then you need to be connected. We're gonna need a pressurized tube, like so, and then like so. What are you doing? Gases, out, outputs. Input, input, input two, input one. And then you are out. need to output. And then in the front, you need to take input two, or well, right here, input two. There we go. Now you're making sulfur trioxide. Sulfur trioxide's filling this. Now you need to output water vapor and take input. We're online, baby! Yeah! We freaking did it! Oh my gosh. We have it. We have Thistle Fuel, dude. Look at this. We did it! We set up Thistle Fuel, bro. Let's freaking go! Yes! I'm so pleased. Oh, man. Oh, we need to tell this to output gunpowder. There we go. Awesome. Well, of course, none of it's upgraded. Uh, so this, I mean, this is still all working with no upgrades, but man, we set it up. Look at that. It could be prettier, but I think this is totally fine. It's all spread out. Uh, wow. This is my first time ever doing this setup. Holy crap. Look at all that, dude. I'm so, I'm so excited. Oh man. Whew. That was, that was tough. That was a lot of machines and a lot of steps. But I'm so pleased with it. Oh, look at it go. All of it's working. Holy crap, we did it. I'm so happy with this. It's so cool. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Okay. Um, I really need a break after that one. That was a lot of work. That took me a lot longer than I expected to just get running. But we did it. We freaking did it. Now all we need to do is put upgrades on all these machines and make sure that we have automation going for every item that it needs. But other than that, we're just about ready to get into the fission reactor and the turbine generator. So thank you all so much for sticking with me through it. I hope you learned some things, but look at that thistle fuel, man. Oh my goodness. So this was a very, very complicated setup here. Very, very intense. I hope at least watching me build it gave you a bit more of an understanding so if we go over the setup fully so we have here on this front end over here in order to get 
the sulfur dust we have a kitchen sink hooked up to an electrolytic separator that is outputting hydrogen into a chemical infuser which also needs to take in chlorine in order to make hydrogen chloride which means we need an, another electrolytic separator to take in brine to then get sodium and chlorine and then we output the chlorine into this chemical infuser here then it's outputting hydrogen chloride then we have a chemical injection chamber taking in that hydrogen chloride as well as gunpowder in order to make sulfur dust then we have that sulfur dust going into a chemical oxidizer and then turning into sulfur dioxide which is needed by this chemical infuser here to make sulfur trioxide and in order to get the sulfur trioxide we need to input oxygen and sulfur dioxide so we have another electrolytic separator here taking in water and outputting oxygen into this chemical infuser here then it is making this sulfur trioxide which is needed in order to make sulfuric acid to get to sulfuric acid we also use the sink here to pump water into this rotary con condensator so the rotary condensator takes the water and we set it on to turn the water into water vapor. Then the water vapor is output into this chemical infuser, which takes sulfur trioxide, water vapor, and turns it into sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid is needed by the chemical dissolution chamber along with these fluorites. It's gonna need these fluorite gems and sulfuric acid in order to output hydrofluoric acid that whole process is to get to this final chemical infuser here to make hydrofluoric acid because we want to make uranium hexafluoride to get uranium hexafluoride you need to take hydrofluoric acid and uranium oxide to get uranium oxide you need yellow cake uranium and how you get yellow cake uranium is by cooking uranium ingots in an enrichment chamber, which we have our system all the way over at home doing, and we're making sure that we're always storing 64 of those. Then we input these yellow cake uranium into a chemical oxidizer, and that's how we're getting uranium oxide. Then after we make the uranium hexafluoride, we pump that into an isotropic centrifuge and then we get fissile fuel. Oh man, it was a freaking process. I hope my explanation helped. I don't think I know enough to be able to tell you exactly how, you know, all of this works, the most efficient way. I just learned how to set this up today. It was very hard going. There was plenty of times where I was like, man, I'm confused, but I hope that me explaining the setup at least helped in some way but I am gonna cut it here. I don't wanna get into the turbine or the fission reactor just yet. I just figured this out, so I, I kinda wanna take a break and we will continue this on the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. I hope you all take care and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.